All right, here we go. Um, we're about to talk to a seller. I don't think this is going to be a deal. It's a seller finance call. Let's hear him out. Hello? All right, brother. So he's on the yellow line. Let's, uh, let me merge now. Okay, sounds good. Hello, Ronald? Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. So, Ronald, I got uh, Max. He's one of my teammates here uh, in the company. He's going to be uh, talking to you about what we uh, what we were talking earlier. Um, so, Max, meet uh, Ronald. Ronald, meet uh, Max. How you doing, Max? I'm doing good. Ronald, how you doing, sir? Fine. Yeah, doing good. All right. Perfect, perfect. I appreciate you for... Uh, taking the call today and uh, speaking with us. Do you have like five minutes, five, 10 minutes? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, perfect. I know, um, you know, uh, Mateo's been, you know, obviously telling me he had spoken with you, you know, about your property uh, and uh, basically said you, you're considering selling it. You're not sure yet as far as, uh, you know, if you, if you don't get what you're looking at, uh, what you're asking for might potentially rent it out again. And uh, one of the things that he had mentioned to me is that we were too far apart on the one lump sum. And um, he said you were maybe open to having a uh, conversation where, where either we can give you what you're asking for, um, you know, just based on, you know, if, if, if you were able to give us time on, you know, paying that off. I'm not sure if you're open to something like that uh, when it comes to that. Well, I mean, uh, the if you're talking about paying the mortgage off and doing a first deed of trust uh, back secured uh, by a uh, promissory note in the usual fashion, mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are open to discussing it depending sure. on the terms. Got it. Got it. Um, no, that's fine. Um, and, and, you know, obviously, uh, you know, that's why we're just having this conversation. Uh, again, we don't buy every single property from everyone we talk to either. Um, doesn't always work out. Right. Uh, but that's why we have these conversations just to figure out, you know, what your goals are and, and see if we even fit that, you know, um, I know one thing he had mentioned, so I know you mentioned it right now is, so there's still currently a mortgage in place. Do you know, like ballpark, what, what's left on it at all? It's, uh, somewhere around 60, 61, something like that. Okay. That's fine. It, uh, shouldn't, it wouldn't be any more than 61. Got it. Okay, perfect. I appreciate that. And then um, as far as your your monthly payment on that, do you know ballpark, just what, what, what it is, round numbers? No, my wife makes the payment on the thing. Okay. I, uh, so you have no idea, just uh, out top of your head? Don't have to be exact. And she's not available right now. She's in the back. Okay. But, uh, I, it's probably... Uh, uh, I don't remember it being over 600. Got whatever it. Whatever it is. Okay. And that's fine. No, just ballpark. Because what I want to do is get an idea here with round numbers. And obviously, you know, once the conversation proceeds to some more serious, we can look at, you know, what um, what uh, the actual numbers are. Um, so so looking at this. And do you know if by the top, I know that you don't, you, you don't handle all the, the, the payments and all that. But just top of your head, do you know if that includes uh, – the, the taxes and the interest and insurance, the 600 bucks, $600, excuse me. No, the taxes are on top of that. And, um, and, uh, the insurance is on top of it. Uh, we pay those separate. Got it. Okay. Okay. And you do those, uh, uh, twice a year, I'm assuming the taxes or are you doing those monthly? The taxes are twice a year. Okay. Perfect. All right. And then just uh, ballpark, what what is the insurance on that run you a year on the on the um, condo? Oh, I don't remember. Okay, I, no, that's fine. Uh, I, I, I work at the office. Mary takes care of the. <laughs> no, that's all good. That's all good, and and it'll vary depending on uh, which provider you go with. Too, I'm just again for for my sake looking at uh, different numbers. Okay, and so <clears throat> so basically, we're we're looking at right now. Currently, we're looking at about. Um, if I'm looking at this correctly, and bear with me here because I'm doing this live as I'm speaking with you. Um, so we're looking at six hundred dollars a month on the more on the original mortgage, and then we have the taxes, which is uh, from what I looked up online. I'm not sure if they're accurate. I think I saw it was like eight hundred a year. I don't know if that's accurate or not. I just based off what I'm seeing on the internet. 
I, um, I can't tell you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then, and then um, I noticed too that the HOA is a monthly fee of three hundred dollars. Is that correct? Well, I thought it was uh, something under three, but I okay. Like I said, I, I don't recall. Yeah. All right. It takes care of uh, uh, water, garbage, uh, and it takes care of maintenance. Uh, yard, the uh, the yards taken care of at the, the commons areas, uh, and a number of other uh, things are taken care of, like uh, road maintenance and uh, that type of thing. Okay, got it. So they so they take care of quite a bit. What about the um, when you said maintenance? Does that include the AC unit too? No, it doesn't take care of the electricity or gas. No, no, I'm saying the the actual unit itself, the air conditioning unit. No, but guys, this is not a deal. We're at 966 a month, and uh, the rents in the area go about 1200, uh, 1196, 1200 a month. So yeah, there. this is gonna be tough. Yes, I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm on. Uh, my my phone's been. I've been having some challenges today. I apologize about that. So you say it, it, the um the you you take care of the unit in case something breaks down. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. So we're looking at somewhere. Okay. Perfect. And these are just numbers I'm writing down to see what uh what I'm calculating as far as you know what the um you know, what, what's going out. Um, the, uh, the, the condo right now is currently rented from what Mateo was mentioning to me. Yes. Okay. And you're getting what about, uh, about a thousand dollars a month on that. That's correct. Got it. Okay. And then do you know typically what, I know that's what you're getting, but do you know what your net is as far as like what you get to keep out of that thousand dollars? Close, so we fairly don't make a whole lot of profit. Yeah. Okay. So, so let me ask you this. Um, it's, go ahead. It's under, it's underpriced on the rent. I can tell you that. Yeah. Uh, it typically, uh, you can always. I mean, with the rents, it, it looks like it could be increased a little bit more than what you're getting right now. Um, have you well, thought? Have you thought about uh, considering doing in that? This, in this region. Um, Rentals are uh, are not sufficient in numbers, and the uh, there's a lot of uh, discussion about uh, how to help uh, certain people uh, at certain financial levels with rent and mm -hmm. uh, and trying to come up with more rental property. So uh, we are we're we have a shortage in uh, the Central Valley here. Okay, got it. Um, that's interesting. I didn't know that. That's interesting to know. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, if you want to look it up online, there's been a lot of articles about it and they could probably fill you in if yeah. you're interested. So is that, but that's why we know that the property is under rented. Makes sense. Okay. And so does that mean that, uh, they're usually going to be paying more than what maybe the market rent would, would, uh, would be, uh, asking? We're getting, we're getting uh, maybe as much as five hundred dollars less than what uh, the property can be rented for. It's uh, something between a thousand and five hundred anyway. Yeah, okay. uh, that's uh, that is that's a guess based upon uh, what I'm hearing about. Uh, yeah, no problem. Rents. Okay, I'm and, not puffing it. That's the reason I'm not. I don't know a lot of these things, but that I have been following. Got it. Okay. No, that makes sense. I appreciate that info. And then, um, is there anyone else that's going? Let's just say you decide to sell this. Is there anyone else that's going to have an input or be involved on the on the sale of the property? Just my wife and me. Okay. Perfect. All right. Um, well, I got enough information here. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, putting all these numbers together and just trying to figure out and make sure I get number one that the end of the day that you know the because I, I haven't looked at to see what the max value of the market rents are i know you're you also just mentioned this is new information for me too in regards to that situation where you know there's not enough rentals for people so um the demand yeah, and uh i don't know if you've looked in that same uh our 
particular area, there's a number of units, and uh, there have been some sales, and you can look those up. Um, they're fairly similar units, so you can uh, you can easily find them online as to uh, what's sold and how much. Yeah, no, which I which I already did. I, I took a look at that. Um, you know, we would be too for your asking price. We would be too far apart. That's why we're having this conversation. Um, you know, for the one fifty five that you're that you're asking cash. Um, well, they've been selling for more than that, and uh, I thought that was a pretty reasonable figure. I didn't see anything above one forty five to one fifty, unless you have something to, sh oh, uh, you know, an address. Looking, you're looking at a different place because I can tell you right now. Ranchwood condos. We had another what? Ranchwood condos, right? That's where yours is at. I've never heard it called Ranchwood Condos, no. Yeah, when I pull your address up, that's that's what the uh, community is called, Ranchwood Condos. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. However, I, I can tell you that uh, that uh, there was one that was listed for 195 I I have seen these. Plus, we sold another one uh, for someone else to a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. I actually belonged to a one of our kids and uh and that one sold for 155 uh, that was uh our son wanted to get rid of it and i found the buyer real quick that i knew mm -hmm. so i know that one did sell but uh there was another uh, couple of them that have been mentioned um uh, as selling and they are more than what you're telling telling me as well yeah. Um... So, uh, what I was saying a while ago, uh, if you if you have a proposal uh, after I've given you all this information, uh, I think I gave uh, Mateo. Uh, Mateo. Yeah, Mateo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I think I gave him my email. Sure. I would like to see any proposal that you have. Sure. And, and no problem. I could definitely do that for you because uh, that's probably be the last step. Obviously, the only one thing we haven't really discussed here in order for me to do the make sure tied up that tie up this proposal is um, I, I don't know how much time you would feel comfortable giving us. You know, if we if we were to able to give you the one, uh, the one fifty five that you're asking. Well, it, I can't tell you because well, uh, I'm not hearing what the full proposal is and uh well here's the thing I i'll share with you I a story prefer, uh ronald I would, I would prefer a full complete sale so you can see that i'm not uh overly excited about uh, something of this nature i'd have to see the the terms well, no, no, for sure. For sure. I 100% agree with you. I'm going to share with you a story. I was talking to, uh, who was I talking to last week? To Nancy. And she wanted the same thing. And I, there's no way for me to structure anything without you saying, hey, Max, you know, the best I can do on this is 120 months or 240 months. You know, I can give you that time. Can you put something together and structure around that? There is no way for me to structure anything without knowing what time I'm working with. Because every seller is different. Everybody oh. has a different goal. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, your I, your goals might sure. be different than than Nancy's. And and so so for me to put something together, uh, you know, I'm gonna do it at at, at 360 months. And you're probably gonna say you're absolutely crazy, Max. Right. So so yeah, that's no. We're the, the the problem is is that uh, we're retirement age. And, I get it. Uh, uh, when you're talking about that, that's pretty much a non-starter. Yeah, and th and that's exactly why I like to bring that up uh, up front because I understand everybody's goals are different, right? You you might not even be able to do it for twenty four months. Who knows, right? And so that's why I always like to ask the question because then now I can structure something around your goal. Because if not, then we're just kind of you know we're 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 kind of you know hiding, yeah, we, we playing peekaboo here. We want something that wasn't any longer than five years. Okay, and uh, that sounds like. Uh, that sounds like something that you're not interested in, but we... Well, I never said that. I just wanted to know we, what time uh, you were working with, right? I never said that I wouldn't be interested in 60 months. Uh, I just wanted to know where you were at ballpark. So that way, I'm, now now with me knowing that, I can probably structure something and, and say, okay, I know Ronald, 
doesn't want to be past six months or sorry, 60 months. Here's what I could do for that, for that window of time frame, And then now I can put and structure something together for you. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, send it over. If, uh, if you have enough information, uh, send it over so that we can uh, examine it and uh, I'll, I'll certainly understand it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so once I put this together for you, um, I'll, I'll get it over, I'll email it to you. And then, you know, when, when should I expect, cause I could probably could have, I don't know what the weekend coming up. I'm not sure if it'll be right away. Cause even though I know you're not in a rush to sell, when, when do you think you and I can jump on the, on the phone again? Uh, if you or me call, you know, calling you back on this. Oh, probably, uh, Tuesday. Well, I don't know when you're going to come up uh, with, uh, with anything for me to review. Uh, right. Uh, when, when are you looking at? I would say give me to about um, somewhere around Friday. It should be in your inbox just because I have a, a quite a bit of point. From, a week no. from this Friday? No, no. This Friday coming up, you should have something in your inbox um, because I do have quite a bit you're, of stuff. You're not planning on eating turkey, I take it. No, I eat turkey on Thursday. <laughs> and, then, and then you work on – well, actually, we uh, – we eat turkey on both Thursday. And well, Thursday. the leftovers, right? <laughs> uh, no, actually, some people uh, have to uh, have to do it on Fridays as well. Yeah, so all that's right. where we are. We'll be serving it here. Uh, that makes sense. Well, the great thing about email, we we don't, we don't have to. Uh, it, it'll just be in your inbox, so that way, you know, if I if I can have it to you, I'll but look for it. Yep. I look for it on Friday then, and uh, and then next Tuesday or so will be fine with me if uh, you want to get back. Got it. Okay, so today is Tuesday. Would this same time work for you since uh, we connected around this yeah. time? Okay. Yeah, that, that, that should be fine. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'll get that working since now I know I have a, a, some time frame, and, and then that way you have something you can look at, okay? Okay. Perfect. I look forward to hearing, and I'll uh, – I'll, I'll have something that um, my wife and I can uh, discuss as well. So, Sounds good, Ronald. Uh, I appreciate you, sir. To know so. Yep. So, okay. Ronald, before, before we let you go, um, I don't have your email address. Do you please? Uh, you ready? To... You ready? Yes, sir. Go ahead. RDS Laws, L A W S. Otherwise, it goes to Massachusetts. Without the S. All right, everyone, you see, I got the time from them, from him. Um, we'll see. I don't know if that's going to be a deal or not. Um, right now, we're all in at 966. <sighs> Um, again, the only way this deal might work if they just let us take over the mortgage and continue the $600 monthly payment from what I am hearing him conversate, it's going to be tough. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to want some income or some extra money because there's not a lot of motivation when it comes to, um, you know, distress anyways. Right. Um, but we kind of figured that from the beginning of the call, we already knew this might not be a deal, but we did the call anyways. So that way we can we can find out we disqualify this person or not. We'll send them like, honestly, I'm just going to put something together where, hey, we'll take over the mortgage uh, for 60 months. We're going to continue to make the six hundred dollar a month payment. We have to pay the HOA. we got to pay the water. We got uh, all that stuff. So uh, we'll see what happens. We'll send them the proposal and I'll keep you all updated later.